bother me. We found out that in this line of work, people typically pass out or die. There's moments before giving that one piece of information that you need the most. I was relieved. I was relieved. Come on. I think I was starting to love her, even though I wasn't sure I could trust her. But why well, find love with a broad you can trust? That's like reading a book you already know that you too. Stupid. Can I fix you a drink, lover? Listen, baby. I've talked to a lot of people over the past 24 hours, and I've got a couple questions I need to answer. My, my, we're all business. I'll bite. Who just talked to the guy all hot father? Veronica Claremont, for one. Why, that young Claremont girl? Charlie, I'm liable to get jealous. What does she have that I don't? An alibi. Charlie, you and your monkey shines. I knew it the minute I laid eyes on you. Beware of this Charlie Nichols. He's a real card. A regular Danny K. Daffy Duck's got nothing on Mr. Charlie Nichols. <laughs> oh, you're good. You've done more change-ups than Satchel Page. <laughs> what have I done except come to you for help? Is it my fault Veronica Claremont and the butler had just broken off a torrid love affair the night of Lady Claremont's murder? Oops. There was no love affair, Mona, and you know it. The butler was Veronica Claremont's father. But he was never able to tell her. Even after several drinks, there's still something so tough to tell a person. A fellow break his own heart into pieces rather than say, or I hope I'm never alone like that butler. Don't we all? I hope I can rely on you, Charlie. I know you think I'm being silly, and I'm sure you don't believe a word I say ever. But there have been people in my life, family and friends, who have believed in what I was saying at one time or another, and I hope to be included in that group. I do, I really do. What are you working on this morning? Some cranes. Some origami cranes. 3,000 origami cranes. Place into the shape of robins. Right here next to this base. This beautiful base right here. I'm so bright, I realize it's the day. You have to help me, please. Take it easy, baby. So many people have been hurt or killed. I've got Tony's people after me, the police. I'm afraid even you've got me tight as the killer. I'm on your side, sweetheart. You just gotta trust me. I love you, Charles. I could trust you a lot better if you told me you loved me. I can't do it, baby. I've been hurt too much. <laughs> I can't take that chance. I understand. I too have known hurt. Why do you do it, Charlie? Do what? Risk your neck for people who usually wind up getting killed anyway. You ever work in the oil business? The oil business? Have you ever seen what an oil well does to a man who mistakenly Puts his head over the gush cap of a cloud drill. Oh, Charlie. I spent 11 years as an oil executive. A real big shot. It is the only business in the world you have millions of dollars to lay hands on you. And if you have the sense to lean over and pick it up, well, you're some kind of genius. That is, until a typical day after a three martini lunch, a 19 year old intern asks, see what's wrong with the cloud drill. You can tell them. <laughs> sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Just don't stick your head over the gush cap. <laughs> Seems like he didn't listen to that last part. They shut down production for two hours while searching LA County for where's head. When it turned up at a church picnic and San Pedro. The pump started up again as if nothing had happened. So I put a shingle on the door that reads, Private Detective. And yeah, maybe the pay's not as good. And I may be a little late some of the times. And my clients always wind up getting killed. But I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> at least, at least, I can sleep in it. You know, if you aren't too careful, a girl can get the idea you're a pretty swell job. I guess I have to take that chance. Charlie, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. I just got a headache is all. Must be all the excitement. Uh, sure. 
maybe just take a load off.
Geneva Brothers. Wait a minute. I was given a note on the back of the receipt that read. Hey! Why are you doing? <laughs> Enough. 
you let this know. <clears throat> Thanks for the watch, Billy. It's perfect to wear while committing murder. <laughs> <laughs> Like you have. 
So you've already got my cart, Charlie. My cart! Yeah. Oh, say, <laughs> what is this? Is that your booty car, I see? Three hundred carats out of it. That's not how it looks. <laughs>
here. Well, let's take that now. And I want to take this time to let you know that everything is on stage, passing it for up downstairs. So if you